Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And earlier today, Peter reached out to me and he had a question about a particular site and the animation on it and was wondering if I could uh, recreate that for him. So let's just uh, look at that site real quick. What you're going to see is a page is going to start down here where the purplish area is. And as the page loads, what's going to happen now is it's going to slowly scroll up to the top of the page. So let's try that one more time. You didn't really see it because I'm recording and so it's slowing things down. So what it's going to do is it's going to, these starts up here and then we go that slowly slid up a little bit easier that time. So obviously if I'm not recording, the animation will look a lot better. So let's go in and take a look at my version of it. And it's not exactly the same, obviously, because mine is not pretty at all. And, uh, but you see there as the page loads, I'll load it one more time. The bottom part will start down about 80% of the way down the page, and then it'll scroll up. But again, of course, it's messing with me because I'm recording at this time, but we'll show you one more time. And it starts down here, and it slowly scrolls up over five seconds. So let's take a look at how I built that out. And it's pretty simple again here. Um, the GDPR footer, that was from a different video I just shot. So I have the top section, which is the blue section. Let's just turn off the other. So I got a blue section here. The background of the page is yellow. And then we have the slide up section is what I'm calling it. And that is the white section here. So you can see as I turn this thing on and off, it's actually running the animation right here inside of the editor. So let's uh, turn that off. Let's go into the CSS because what I looked at and I initially thought is like, well, okay, yeah, I can um, do this easily with JavaScript. But then I thought, well, let's see here. Let's see if I can do this with only CSS using keyframes. And I was able to do it. So what we got here is initially, this is the top section right here. This is the section that was blue. And I'm saying, I want that blue section to be 80% of the viewport height. And then let me turn off this position absolute right there. Because what that will do then is that'll show us that this blue section now is 80% of the viewport height. So that's what the 80 VH means is make this top part here 80% of the viewport height. Because what I want to do is I want the... Uh, I want the blue section to be here on the page and the white section below it. So they are actually sitting one on top of each other when we build this thing. And then what we're going to say is we want the one, the white part in the bottom, we want that to slide up to the top. Now, I guess what I could have done is I could have said with the blue part here, let's slide that blue part up so it goes all the way out the top of the screen by, by making the viewport height go to absolute zero. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how I built it. Then I'm going to pause and I'm going to build it the other way just because I thought of that. And so why not show us both ways right now? So the way I have it built right now, 80% of the viewport height is the blue area. The white area is sitting right below it like it should be when we have our two sections stacked on top of each other. And then what we're going to say here is we're going to make that section absolute. We're going to turn on an animation, which is this keyframe down here. And I call the animation to top. And you're going to see it's right there. That animation is going to last for five seconds. It's going to be linear, meaning in the default, it starts off slow, then it goes quickly, then it goes slowly. And what I want to do is just go one solid motion all the way from, from bottom to top. And then you use the term forwards to say stop at the end. So when you get all the way up to the top, stop there. Otherwise, it could repeat. It could go back down. It could go in, into an infinite loop. There's all kinds of different options on that. In this case here, we want to go all the way up to the top and then stop. And then what we're going to say is the from position, so your starting position, so you have a from and a to. There's different ways you can do it, but the simplest way is a from and a to. Right down here, we're going to say from top viewport height of 80%. So what we got here is we're saying come down because we're doing the absolute positioning. We're going to say we want to position in a certain place on the screen built within. Actually, what would probably be best here is actually if I used fixed instead. Let me use fixed because fixed will position it inside of the viewport. So we're going to do fix down here at the bottom, and we're going to start off at 
80% viewport height from the top. So we're saying we're going to push this thing down 80% of the viewport height from the top. And then as it goes through the five seconds on its linear slide, it's going to go from 80% down here up to 0% at the top. So it's just going to slide right up to the top and then stop there. And then the animation is done because we tell it with the forwards, we tell it to be done at the very end. And so let me take off the positioning of fixed. And that's okay that it went flying up to the top like that because at this point here, it thinks it's already run the animation. Okay, so now let's just save this. And we're going to cross our fingers on this one because I made some changes on the fly. So let's click on preview and see what happens here. Should start off with the blue at the top and then have the white come sliding up. And it's working relatively okay uh, considering the fact that um, I'm recording. But you get the idea. Okay, so here we go. We start with all the blue and then we're going to have it slide all the way up to the top. Okay, so now I stopped for a minute and I came back in and I changed this up. So when we did this initially, and let me take off of that comment so it comments this whole thing out. What we did initially was we said take that bottom section and move it from a top of viewport of 80, so 80% 80 down, move the top of it from 80% down all the way up to the top of the screen. Now what we did on the second one here, what we did is we said take that top section and we want to change the height. So we initially set the height to 80 VH. And so we're going to say initially the height is 80 VH. And we want to take that from there to a height of zero. So it's basically going to take the entire thing and just make it go up to the top so that the height completely goes away. Therefore, pulling up the section that is below it. So let us save this real quick. We'll save that and then we'll preview it. And then we will be done. And what I noticed as I was working on it here is now it's like running the right speed and coming up slower. But either way, it looks exactly the same on the screen. But um, is one better than the other? Uh, certainly the second way we just showed here, and it doesn't want to play nice again there, but the second way that we showed it there, it uses two less lines of code, if that matters to anybody. And then on the first one, we needed to use the Z-index to... Well, actually, now I think about it, we wouldn't have needed the Z-index there because the white part being below the blue part should have gone up in front of the white part. And so we probably wouldn't have needed the Z-index there on the second one anyway. So either way you want to do it, you can move the bottom one up or you can just shrink the top one. And therefore, you can just have the whole page just slide up. So as always, let me know if you got any questions. Okay, so I decided I'm going to show you the um, another way, third or fourth way, whatever this is of doing it. So basically, I've turned off all of the CSS in here, except for the fact that I still want this section to be 80% of the viewport height. And then I'm going to go and do the rest of it inside of the tracking code. So I'm going to go into the footer tracking code, and I'm going to put in a little function right here. And uh, I really think this is probably a better way of doing it because... Things load at different times when a page is loading up and you saw how that started to move up the screen really quickly or it was kind of clunky as the, as the page is continuing to load. And what happens is if I got this right, and I'm pretty sure I do, is the CSS loads first and then the JavaScript will load later. And you can tell it when you want it to load. When I have it set like this, where it says just here, dollar sign function, that's a shortcut for document ready function. And so it says when the document is ready or when what they call it when the DOM is loaded, then it will fire that function right there. You can also do a window load function, which actually loads after when the DOM loads. So there's basically different stages. So basically the CSS loads and then what they call the DOM loads and then the window loads. And the window load is the very last one. And I'll even tell you at this, especially inside of a lot of membership sites, a lot of times you still have to put a little bit of a delay after that because then the page kind of even loads again. And so there's different places along the way where you want to trigger this code. And here, what I found is we're just going to trigger the code and what we're going to say is take that blue section and all we're going to say is slide it up over that five second time period. So it's just going to slide it up over five seconds and just like we were doing on the other was five seconds but you saw it seemed to go really fast and it seemed to be kind of clunky. Now when you're not recording it may be working much better so you can try the CSS version 
or you can try this version here. And like I said, if it's still loading too early, you can do a window load function and load it later. You can set a delay on it. And that's one of the nice things with, with uh, JavaScript is you can, it gives you a lot more flexibility than you can have with just standard CSS. So there's the code right there. So let's just click on save. And what I will do is click on preview and we will take one look at it here because you've seen this sliding up on the screen enough times and hopefully load right. Okay, it did. So we got the blue here at the top. And then again, over the five seconds, but I'm recording, so it's a little jerky. Over five seconds, then it scrolls to the top. So there you go, at least three different ways to be able to show content and have it slide up on the screen as the page loads.